Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to be showing you how to install an air cooler inside of your PC. If you enjoyed this video, if it helped you, be sure to smash the like button and consider subscribing for more content. If you have any questions or comments or need help with something, don't be afraid to just leave them down in the comments below and I'll try and help you or somebody else can try and help you. So as you see, I've already built my computer, but if you are starting from scratch, it's gonna be pretty much the same thing. Just I'm making it for people who have already built their computers, who are replacing the coolers, or for new builders who are installing for their new build. So if you are just starting your build, you want to make sure you get your motherboard out, you want to install the CPU, you want to install the RAM sticks, and if you have an M.2 SSD, you wanna install that as well. If you're replacing an existing cooler like I am, you want to first take the, the cooler that you already have in, you want to take it out, and you want to wipe down the CPU of the thermal paste that's already on there. All right, so let's actually install the air cooler and get going. All right, so let's talk about the CPU cooler we're going to be using. We're using the Hyper 212 Black Edition from Cooler Master. So inside the box, it'll come with the cooler itself, and it'll come with all the different parts and screws, mounting brackets, screws, uh, parts to hold down the fan, and it should come with some thermal paste. The other thing you wanna look for is the manual. The manual is crucial for installing your CPU cooler correctly. If you did not get this brand specific cooler, you want to make sure that you have the manual because it'll be just slightly different in terms of how to install it. The pieces will look different. It'll all be just slightly different, so always refer back to the manual. So if you're replacing your CPU cooler, you wanna take it out now. All right, so the first step in actually installing your cooler is to figure out the back plate. So depending on you have Intel or AMD, you will need to look at the manual and then depending on whichever chipset of CPU you have, the screw goes in different places. So in my case, I have an AMD. So depending on whichever chipset of CPU you have, in my case, I have the other category. So if you have, say, like a Ryzen 5 3600, that's an AM4 chipset, and that screw would go in that position. Anything else would go in the other position. You just wanna double check what your CPU chipset is and whatever the manual tells you to do. So what this means is you take these little flat screws like this, and you put it in this position so that it kind of clicks in there. And depending on whichever CPU you have, either it goes in the far right position or the left position. In my case, it's the right. And then you want to take these little pieces right here. I think it's called M. And you want to hold the screw and then you want to click it into place. So you want to do that for all four of the bracket screws. So once you have that done and you have all four of the screws, you see that they're stuck in place now. So now you are ready to move on to the next step. All right, the next step is to install the back plate on the back of your motherboard. So you see these four holes that you have and whichever orientation you have the screws, they should just slide right in, no problem. If they don't go in or they don't go the right way, uh, you want to check back in your manual and see that you did it right. Okay, once you have the back plate in, you want to take these little lock nuts, kind of like hexagon shaped nuts, and you want to screw them on to all four of the screws. And you want to screw them kind of tight because that's what holds the cooler on the board. Once you have the lock nuts installed, it's probably a good idea to, if you're replacing your cooler, to put it on the ground so that the motherboard is facing up. 
Okay, now that we have the mounting bracket all ready, we wanna get the actual heat sink ready to go. So depending on whichever chipset or type of CPU you're using, you wanna get the correct mounting bracket, which should be in the manual. Okay, so when I was installing the CPU cooler, it was a bit challenging to figure out which way this little bracket goes. So the kind of like indent place, it goes towards the outside facing this way and it has to be just flush up and down. So while you're holding the mounting bracket in place, you're gonna take these little tiny screws and screw it into the bottom. You wanna screw it nice and tight. So now you do the same thing for the other side. So now you have both of the mounting brackets ready to go with the screws facing down. Now that you have everything ready, you wanna figure out which way your CPU cooler is going to sit. So you can see like the logo. The logo is gonna be facing up and down, just like that. And you would like your cooler, your fan, to be facing towards the inside. So it's gonna be going right over your RAM. So now that you're ready, you want to install the thermal paste onto your CPU. So you don't need too much. They give you a big vial. So you need just about that much. So now that you have the thermal paste on there, you're ready to actually put the CPU cooler on. Just a little bit, give it a little smooshy smooshy. Then you're ready to screw down the screws. So you want to be really careful when you are screwing down the bracket. So you want to screw the screw, you want to push kind of hard and make sure that screw is inside of that lock nut. So I know it's in there. So now I would go to the opposite one, diagonal from it, screw it down a couple turns actually on either side. And then now you want to go to the other corner, screw it a few times. Do you don't want to screw it super tight on one and then go to the other? You want to kind of do like a few turns on this side, a few turns on the corner, and then just rotate. And then just go back to the first one, screw it down a couple more times, go to the second corner, screw it down a couple more. Third one, screw it down a few more times. Fourth one, and screw it down. So you can screw it a little bit farther if you want. Uh, as of right now, it's pretty solid. Like it's not, it's not gonna slide out of there at all. So this is be pretty good. So you have the heat sink on there now. So you take the fan, and you probably want to tie up the cable a little bit uh, just so it's not cables everywhere cable management is always good so you look around the fan and you see these little arrows the arrows pointing left towards the CPU cooler okay so you want to take these little braces that came with it you want to hook it into these little holes kind of hold them hold them in place so then now you can put the fan on the side, right where it needs to go. Just pull the bracket back and hook it into this little groove down there. So now it's hooked on this side, we wanna do it on the other side too. And you wanna make sure both of the sides of the bracket are in because it's easy for one of them to get out. So now that the fan is nice and snug, now that now we can take the cable and plug it into the CPU fan port. All right, now that we've installed the CPU cooler and plugged it in, made sure everything's correct. So now we plugged it in and we're gonna see if we did everything right. If it turns on, then we did it right. Sweet. So I hope this video helped you. If it did, smash that like button and consider subscribing. 
If you had any troubles and you need some help, just leave a comment down below. Be sure to check out some of my other videos. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.